Matillion ETL version 1.69 is now publicly available to all customers. In this video, we'll show you what new features and improvements are included. The following system level changes have been made with version 1.69. The Java runtime environment has been updated from Java 8 to Java 17, together with all dependent code and libraries. Matillion ETL's Apache Tomcat version has been updated from version 8.5.75 to 10.1.5. Also, the Matillion ETL operating system has been updated from CentOS Linux 7 to CentOS Stream 8. And the JavaScript engine used by Matillion ETL has been updated from Nashorn to Graal VM. A new feature for Matillion ETL on all platforms, for all users of Git integration, the option to switch between branches while jobs are still running has been added. This is done by using the new configuration parameter, always allow redo update. The default action of false associated with this option prevents the overwriting of the repository so that no changes are introduced. Setting this value to true will allow the repository to be overwritten regardless of the execution status of the jobs. When set to true, you're able to swap commits and any jobs will keep running. If you have jobs that are still running, navigating to the project menu, then manage versions will reveal a new snapshot version, which will persist until all the jobs that are running are complete. For Matillion ETL on Snowflake, a credentials authentication method has been added to the S3 load and S3 unload components. When the authentication method is set to credentials, the new authentication method parameter will display as initially set to environment default. Clicking into credentials offers a drop down list of the configured credentials for your cloud provider. Click manage to open the manage credentials dialog to add or edit credentials. If you set up new credentials, return to the credentials dropdown and your new credentials will be available for selection. For Matillion ETL on Snowflake and Amazon Redshift, the Matillion ETL metadata API endpoint has been improved. Responses now include fully qualified names in the metadata payload. This change provides lineage information about Matillion orchestration and transformation jobs, which can be utilized with Alation. The fully qualified name will include schema information, or if no schema can be selected, the environment default schema will be returned. For Matillion ETL on Delta Lake on Databricks, Support for Databricks Unity Catalog on Matillion ETL has been added. Selectable in all query components and any orchestration or transformation components where you must select a database. All of these components will now include a catalog parameter which will display a drop down list of the Databricks catalogs tied to your user account. And this is what's new with Matillion ETL version 1.69. Please subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with the latest releases. And for more information on everything covered in this video, please visit the Matillion documentation site.